Hey, this is Wayne here, and we're doing a review about the uh, Diamond Sharp Carbide uh, Annular Cutter from Drillbit Warehouse. Deep Hole Diamond Carbide Hole Cutter. Um, this thing works great. Um, if you've got a bunch of holes to drill in steel or stainless steel, uh, this is going to be your best friend. Uh, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of carbide here, and it's very hard to see. But one of the things that sets this drill bit apart from the other ones is the, the carbide actually has different points. Uh, it's actually ground like this in the middle on some of them. It's not just a flat square chisel piece. It's ground like this in the middle, and then the next one over it has a point on the end, and then the next one over it has a point on this end. Uh, it, it's pretty difficult to actually see it, um, but that is one of the things that sets this particular annular cutter apart from a bunch of the other ones that are on the market right now uh, is, is it puts that specific point of, in, of uh, pressure on different uh, surface points. So as the drill bit spins around, it's cutting a little bit here, a little bit out of the middle, and a little bit over towards the edge. Uh, and then it just com completes that again and again and again. And that's what allows this to cut so much faster than a lot of the other annular cutter products on the market right now. Uh, it also comes with this great drill bit right here that cuts through just about anything. Um, you're going to see your limitations with some of the super, super alloy steels like knife steel and things like that. Probably not going to be able to, to cut through those. But as far as just your general, you know, construction stainless steel sinks, um, stainless steel uh, wraps, stainless steel fridges, uh, any of that kind of stuff, this is going to do great. Uh, it will cut masonry and tile. Uh, but I would watch doing so. Um, depends on what you buy this drill bit for. Uh, if you buy it for, for that specifically, um, that's okay. But once you use it on masonry, uh, it's not going to cut as well in steel. If you specifically buy it to cut mild steel and stainless steel, it's going to work great. Uh, just make sure you keep it in the package because if this gets dropped, the only problem with these drill bits is if they get dropped, the carbide is so hard, it's ultra, ultra hard. If it gets dropped on concrete or steel or anything, uh, you can chip these teeth and, and that makes the blade begin to wear down just a little bit. Um, so be careful of that, keep it in the case, and this thing's gonna punch 10, 20, 30 times as many holes uh, as compared to a regular annular cutter uh, or, or a bimetal blade. Um, the carbide is just so superior and so hard to stay sharp so much longer and the way they've sharpened it and engineered those different points of, of contact, uh, it allows you to cut it's extremely smooth even with a hand drill. Uh, you don't have to have a drill press with this like you do with a lot of the other ones on the market. So for more information, check it out, drillbitwarehouse.com. Uh, this is the deep hole diamond carbide hole cutter. Um, check it out and check out the website below. Thanks for watching. Shut the wrong one off. Okay, so that's our carbide cutter um, from Drillbit Warehouse. Uh, this is the carbide um, cutter right here. It's called the diamond hole cutter, uh, but it's the diamond actually sharpens the carbide, and that's where they get the name from. 
um, creates a very nice hole, uh, you know, practically machine quality hole. And this <clears throat> is spring steel. Uh, so let's try and clean this off a little bit. Um, so you can see the nice hole that made. I mean, there's no burr there. You'd have to file a little bit on the back side, uh, but there's not really too much of a burr at all on there. And this is super, super hard. Uh, you know, anything normally you get into spring steel, you're just, you're not going anywhere. Uh, you're just burning up bits and trashing bits unless you have carbide. Carbide's the only thing that's really going to get through this stuff. So for more information, check out drillbitwarehouse.com or check out the website below. All right, so you need to drill a large hole in stainless steel. You have a problem because if you use a conventional hole saw bit like this here, this is exactly what's gonna happen. Uh, number one, I had to actually use a carbide bit to go ahead and get that first pilot hole drilled out and then to prove that the uh, that this system right here did not work, that the, the actual hole saw itself did not work, um, that's what happened. Now you know this is stainless steel because um, the, it stopped the drill bit, number one, and two, it, you can see how it just flattened all these teeth way down. I mean, they're just completely flattened out. Uh, that's what stainless steel is going to do to your conventional um, drill bits like that. I got another one right here. Here's a one-inch hole saw. First encounter with stainless steel. This is what's going to happen. You're going to have flattened off teeth and a whole bunch of frustration, and you're going to be wondering what are you going to do next. Well, there is a video out where... Um, uses a uh, bit like this to go ahead and drill through there. Uh, one of these step bits, basically it just steps down each size and that did seem to work pretty well and we'll go ahead and give that a try. I'm going to get some lubrication for cutting this. And we'll give it a go here. Getting there, at least it's going. much more and more of this so we're almost there as soon as that one fits in then we'll be at one inch there we go now that fits right. now this is a very very good very expensive very high quality step bit um, this is one from Champion, and this thing is, is awesome. You're going to be lucky to find something of this quality at your hardware store. Um, so the other option, and the main reason that I'm trying to say, the, the main advantage to hole saws is exactly right here. We're not removing all of that material into these tiny little flakes, okay? We're not going to be doing that. We're actually going to be cutting much, much less material in the process, therefore, it will cut much faster because the hole saw is gonna cut around. So we're gonna load this up with some cutting fluid just like we did that one. 
and we're going to keep a nice low RPM. I'd have to spin it. Take it in first. I'm actually going to set the brake to brake on this when I pop through. So that's what that was. Okay, so now we're going to go back to drill mode. Just like butter and the plug got ejected from this automatic spring ejection system. Uh, so this hole is much, much cleaner. Um, it's almost like it's a regular machine hole in there. And that was 10 times easier and 10 times faster. Remember, this is with a hand drill. Uh, if you have a drill press, you're gonna have the, the added leverage and, and you're gonna have some more things on your side uh, than just this right here, so. We'll clean this up, get a little bit of clean on there and see the difference in these two holes. So you can see right there that that's... Okay, so now that we got this thing cleaned up a little bit, we can see the different holes and uh, you can see how much cleaner that one is as opposed to that one there uh, with our big um, champion bit here. I mean, that's really cool and great that that thing will actually do that, but uh, you can see the difference in the, in the hole. Right here, a quick filing would uh, clean that up real quick and it'd be just like a machined hole, whereas this, you'd have to have quite a bit more. You'd probably have to bring this bit in from this side and you know it would take a little bit more work and effort to clean it up. So. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely. If you got to drill a bunch of holes too, this is going to be able to do that same, re replicate that over and over and over again. Um, whereas you're going to be lucky to, you, we're lucky that that cut the first hole, uh, two or three, and you're probably going to start burning up that bit. So for more information, check out the website below. Thanks. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, Right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact, leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, subscribe, share, and like. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it.